Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is the Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna look at Vice from Jeff Price and Murphy's Magic. What is Vice? Uh, basically, uh, Jeff has created a little trick with lifesavers. And he's able to take a lifesaver, squish it up and down, and then when he hands it out, it remains in a squished form. The spectator can even eat it and prove that it was actually a real lifesaver. You wanna see what it looks like, this is it. Just watch, watch them and don't take your eyes off the mint, right? Because I, if I kind of just squeeze, this is a weird thing. If I squeeze the mint, you can actually see it start to bend kind of, but wait. Yeah. It requires the other end to you just squeeze it like this, and then it, you can harden it back up. Like a Xanax. You take the mint, make sure it's actually oh, hard mint. That's hard sugar now. You, you wanted a mint, right? You can try it if you want. Oh man, Minty, right? So this trick is not only easy to do and has good angles, but after that insanely visual moment where you squish the lifesaver, one of my favorite aspects is that you hand out that squished mint. The spectator looks at it for a second and when they realize it's a real edible mint, they absolutely freak out. Wow. Oh, I'm <laughs> That's because your superpower is not that melting sugar. <laughs> High five, mint magic. Boom. Fresh, new, and also tasty and delicious. <laughs> <laughs> so we squish so much magic into this. Get it squished like the you squish the lifesaver. We all know what our audience wants. They want strong, powerful magic and magic with lifesavers, and now we can finally deliver. Seriously though, who who writes these lines? Uh, it's a really fun trick with a lifesaver, man. It's candy. All right, so that was Jeff Price. Uh, you might remember we did two other reviews for him. We did the In Your Wallet and the Search Engine Pen. So a couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, and the first of which is, what is in the box? What's in the box? You get a really big box. Uh, like I showed you, it's a really, it's a really big box. Uh, inside that box, you're gonna get fake mints, okay? Gimmicks, gaff mints. Uh, you're gonna get real mints, okay? And you're gonna get a fake lifesaver roll that you can build, okay? So it'll either uh, come with the lifesaver pre-printed logo, or you can download the PDF and make your own lifesaver uh, roll. Or if lifesavers aren't in your country, uh, you can do polo, which they're very similar to lifesavers. Is it what I thought? Uh, I really had no idea what to think with this, because um, I think what Jeff Price has done is he's made something very creative. So I don't think your mind would obviously go to this to begin with, um, unless you were just thinking, okay, what would be the most basic thing that this could be? And I assume, well, I guess then, then it probably would be what you think, but I think combined with his very creative gaffes and then uh, with his presentation, I think uh, you're getting a really cute, very creative effect. How are the angles? The angles on this are really good. I would argue that you could probably do this surrounded with no issues. Uh, all of the dirty work takes place very fast and through slights that most of us know. So I don't think you really have uh, too many angle issues with this. Can it be inspected? Um, absolutely, and I think this is Jeff's whole point, is that it can be inspected. Uh, you show the lifesaver, you squish it up and down, and then in its squished form, you hand it out, and the spectator can see, click, 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 it is a real lifesaver, and they can pop it in their mouth and eat it and verify that it's a real lifesaver. So uh, they eat the proof. So the proof is in the pudding, or the lifesaver, as we say. What's the overall quality and production value of the video? Um, it's made by Murphy's Magic, so it's great. Uh, Murphy's Magic really knows how to make really good videos. So you're getting multiple shots, you get a very nice non-distracting background, uh, non-distracting music, very well edited. Uh, the video itself is 43 minutes long, so you're getting a ton of footage. Uh, in the teaching portion, you're gonna get um, a, a live working performance, so that's good too. And Jeff really goes through everything for you. Um, a big portion of the video is setup, and another big portion of the video is arts and crafts. 
So there are those two portions. So yes, there are some arts and crafts. Uh, nothing that has to do with the mints. Okay, nothing that has to do with food items. Um, but it has to do with you building the lifesaver roll. And so that'll be something that you'll have to do. And it's all the standard equipment that you always see when uh, somebody starts breaking something out and saying you have to build it. So it's all those same kind of tools. Uh, things that you've got lying around the house for sure. Is the product well made? These are real mints. Like when you look at these gaffed mints that he's made, uh, they look incredibly real. Uh, side by side, uh, the gimmick mint with a real lifesaver, you will be able to tell the difference but only you'll be able to tell the difference because you know what you're looking for. Uh, your lay person won't be able to look at your gaff mints and say, hey, those aren't real. That won't, take, that won't happen. Okay, so how much practice does this trick require? This trick is mostly loads and transfers, okay? It's mostly loads, false transfers. When I was thinking about this and watching it, I had this like epiphany and, and, I, and I firmly believe this. This trick is a sponge ball routine with mints. That's what it is. So if you do sponge ball routines, bam, you're gonna be right in there. And I was thinking about this, you know, a sponge ball routine, a sponge ball is a magic item. You know, a regular lay person, they don't live in a world with sponge balls. They don't ever see sponge balls. I mean, granted holding one, you're not thinking, oh, this is gimmicked. I mean, they're never gonna think that your sponge ball is somehow, you know, magical, but it's just not an object they see in the real world. These are, right? Everybody knows what a lifesaver is. So if you can do a sponge ball routine with lifesavers, you've just brought sponge balls into the 21st century. Like you've just made them relevant and fun again. And I think that's really what Jeff has done. Um, there's even another trick on here where he teaches you a linking ring trick that you can do. So there's a linking lifesaver trick on here as well. And there's a karate coin style trick where you stab the lifesaver in midair with a pencil. And that's on here as well. How much setup and reset is there? Uh, like I said at the beginning, uh, there's a bunch of setup that's arts and crafts. Uh, so, but once you get that done, you never have to do it again. Uh, the reset though for this trick is, in, is, is seconds. All right, so what are the positives to this? Um, Vice is a great opener for the strolling restaurant magician or street performer. And as an extra bonus, it's delicious. All right, so what are the negatives? You know, like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. These are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. Um, there was a notation in the write-up and even in the video where Jeff says that you can get refills for the mints because obviously um, you're getting the real mints, but then when you hand them out, they eat them. So you're, this is a consumable trick. You will run out of mints, okay? So both in the write-up and the video, he says refills are available. I never saw where they were available. So maybe that's coming out later, I don't know. Is it worth your money? Uh, it's 30 bucks, $30. And like I said, you're just getting mints and the tube and then the video. So on the one hand, it is, it is right, you know, it's right in the ballpark, it's affordable. However, like I said earlier, it's a consumable trick. So this is not a trick you'll be able to do again and again and again and again. You're really only, only gonna be able to do this 30 times, I think is what it was and then you'll have to purchase more mints. So just know that going in, that this is a trick that is consumed. You will have to make additional purchases if you like this effect and wanna keep doing it. Who would like this? Uh, like I said, it's perfect for the restaurant magician because I mean, people just ate, hey, you want a mint? Bam, trick. Uh, it's perfect for walk around, perfect for street magic or people that just like new creative types of tricks. All right, so that is my review for Vice from Jeff Price and Murphy's Magic. I wanna thank Murphy's Magic for allowing me to have this trick so that I can review it for you. And if you wanna purchase it for yourself, you can find it at one of your favorite Murphy's Magic retailers. Thanks, bye.